I took you on this video of the new Ferry Fisher 895 offshore version. This is a 2020 hull that arrived today. We've just unwrapped it and I'm just going to do a quick interior video to show you the uh, specifications and the layout. Some nice features on this one are the bulwark door on the side here. That allows the section here, so this door here opens, allowing people to get on and off the pontoon, especially if it's a higher fuel barge at this height, it's a lot easier to get on and off. It's a nice wide bathing platforms on the back. This useful hoop here to grab hold of as you walk up onto the boat. Going down the side of the boat, you can see the windows and the bow thruster. And with this tulip bow design, you get a nice wide forward cabin, but you still have a deep V at the bow here for slicing through those big seas. Right, let's go. Here you can see the nice wide side decks. Inlaid with teak, making for really good access up the side of the boat. Nice little steps here with LED lights. Onto the bow. And here we've got a nice little deck area for uh, sunbathing. This one's got the chaise lounge, which is a little flip up seat. Good single axis straight through the aft section here onto the bathing platform. There's no step at all. And looking into the cockpit area, again, this lovely teak inset across the whole of the cockpit platform. And this rear seat here slides forwards and backwards on these rails here to allow the twin engines to trim up at the back so you can have them completely out of the water. There's also a little sun pad infill in this section here for some pads so you can do some sunbathing or a cockpit table there's two settings for the cockpit table so you can have it with the seat slid upwards or slid back and the cockpit table sits in nicely just there for u-shaped seating right let's have a look inside so this is the first time we've been inside as you can see the curtains are still drawn across just those. We've chosen to go for some fitted carpet on this one, which just makes it look really nice and comfy inside. It's very open and spacious. There's a nice little unit here, which hides the galley area, twin burner. The gas tank is out the side here. And then Nice stainless steel sink there with pressurised hot and cold water. The hot water, obviously being an outboard boat, runs off the shore power so you can heat it up before you head out. There's no chlorifier because we don't have inboard engines. And then down here you can see a nice 12 volt fridge. This is where the saloon table goes and it also drops into this section here, the table to make a saloon berth. We've got curtains all the way around the interior. 
These are back out curtains, which is great for stopping the light coming. And then looking up top, we've got two double sunroofs, both slide backwards, allowing lots of light and air in. This one here will be spec with probably a nine inch plotter, Garmin, Raymarine, um, you can choose what you want. Got the bow thruster controls here, drive by wire controls, these throttle controls here, nice and smooth. Steering wheel's hydraulic. This is the new Yamaha display system, so that gives you your speed, um, it gives you your economy, flow rates, engine hours, and any fault codes, should there be any problems with the engine. It has a limp mode to get you back home under about six knots if something is to go wrong. Behind this girder here we have the one of the best features of the boat, which is this large side door out into the side deck. Very useful if you're a helmsman to get in and out of the boat very quickly. See midship keep right there. And again it's a nice wide section to walk around. Right, going down below. These nice little steps down. All the cabin doors are closed at the moment. It's going to be a bit dark in there. Little slides across, you've got a nice big double berth. And then around the starboard here, we've got the heads. So there's a nice seat on top so you can shower sitting down as well. And there's a little sink in there. And then coming round into the aft berth. It's full of cushions for the front and back, but it's a large double berth and there is a curtain. Yeah. A nice big window light letting light in. Let's zoom up to that, there we are. There's even a little hatch there you can open up to let the light in. Inside the main cabin, a nice little locker. Hanging storage in it. And then we've got lovely lighting all the way around. This cushion here is the infill to make the berth bigger. And here we've got this lighting. And we go on the other side there, and then up on the roof we've got another hatch, which is big enough to let someone in and out. The version we've gone for here has these nice lockers for storing all the way around. which is a nice option we've added on to this one. Heading back on top. Right, we'll take the curtains down and do some more videos.